Pluto, the dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt, has always been a topic of fascination for astronomers and space enthusiasts. Despite its demotion from planet status in 2006, Pluto continues to capture our imaginations, especially when it comes to the idea of a potential collision with another planet. Pluto and Neptune's orbits intersect at two points in their respective orbits. These points are known as resonances, which occur due to the gravitational pull of each planet on the other. The first resonance is called the 2 to 3 resonance, which means that Pluto completes two orbits around the Sun for every three orbits completed by Neptune. At this point in their orbits, Pluto and Neptune are at their closest approach to each other, which can affect their gravitational forces and potentially result in changes to their orbits. The second resonance is called the 3 to 2 resonance, which means that Neptune completes three orbits for every two orbits completed by Pluto. At this point, the gravitational forces between the two planets are at their weakest. These resonances are a unique feature of the Pluto-Neptune relationship and are responsible for the complex and sometimes chaotic nature of their orbits. The gravitational interactions between these two distant worlds can sometimes result in a dance that lasts for millions of years, with each planet influencing the other's path through space. If Pluto were to collide with a planet, the most likely scenario would be a collision with Neptune. This is because Neptune and Pluto's orbits intersect, and their gravitational interactions can sometimes result in a resonance effect, where they affect each other's orbits. The most like scenario between Pluto and Neptune to occur is a glancing blow. The force of the impact would still be incredibly powerful, and the resulting effects on both planets would be catastrophic. If Pluto and Neptune were to collide, it would have significant consequences for our solar system and Earth. This would likely result in a massive explosion, with debris and fragments being flung out into space. The impact would generate a shockwave that would travel through the surrounding space, potentially causing disruptions to nearby planets and their moons. The debris from the collision would continue to orbit the Sun, potentially posing a hazard to other planets in the vicinity. In the longer term, the effects of a Pluto-Neptune collision would be felt throughout the solar system. The debris from the collision would eventually coalesce into a new asteroid belt, and the gravity of the remaining planets would likely cause changes to their orbits. Additionally, the impact would generate a significant amount of heat, potentially altering the climate of nearby planets and moons. After the impact, in solar system all planets would be destroyed and their broken parts will be revolving round the Sun. Overall, while a collision between Pluto and Neptune would have significant effects on the solar system, the likelihood of such an event occurring is extremely low. Pluto's orbit is highly elliptical, which means it is elongated and takes it far from the Sun at its farthest point, aphelion, and close to the Sun at its closest point, perihelion. In contrast, Neptune's orbit is nearly circular and lies mostly within the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune that is populated with many small icy bodies like Pluto. Pluto's orbit is also inclined at an angle of 17 degrees to the plane of the ecliptic, which is the imaginary plane that passes through the Sun and the planets of the solar system. This means that Pluto's orbit is tilted relative to the plane on which the other planets orbit, including Neptune. As a result of these differences in their orbits, Pluto and Neptune have very different paths through space and do not come close to each other often. In fact, the last time Pluto and Neptune were at their closest approach was in the late 1800s, and their next closest approach will not occur until the 22nd century. The two planets are in a resonant orbital relationship, which means that their orbital periods are in a simple whole number ratio. This resonance actually helps to maintain the stability of their orbits and prevent them from colliding or being ejected from the solar system. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.